What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I am starting off on a freshly washed hair, and I have two plaits that I made in the shower because these plaits just make it really easy for me to distribute the product that I use in my hair all throughout. I'm going in with my Emerge leave-in hair conditioner. Y'all, I love this leave-in. It is so moisturizing. It's silky, it's smooth, it smells really good. It's thick, which is what I look for in a leave-in. And it does a really good job of helping me to really smooth out the hair before I begin styling. So after I've added my leave-in, I like to take my authentic demon brush because the fakes just don't work for me and further smooth the hair. Once I'm happy with that, I go ahead and replat the hair so that I can maintain definition while I do the other side. So y'all, I cannot stress enough how important this step is of smoothing the hair down. You really wanna make sure you're getting that leave-in in in your hair from the roots to the ends, making sure to smooth it over and over and over again because doing this is gonna make sure that your hair is really moisturized and also it's gonna make it a lot easier to style the hair and in the end, you'll find that you'll have much better results than if you were to not take the time out to do this. And before anybody says, well, I ain't got time for all of that, well, your hair is going to reflect that you ain't had time when it don't come out sleek and it's a little poofy. So <laughs> make sure you're smoothing the hair down because you're going to get good results. Just trust me, okay? Okay, so y'all see how I'm going back in with more leave-in, right? You want to be generous with product. Don't go overboard. Just use a good amount, okay? Because if you do this correctly, you should get a couple of days out of your style and you won't have to do your hair for a while. <laughs> that right. <laughs> but yes, make sure you're using a good amount. Let's pause it for a second so y'all can see what I mean. See, smooth and defined, period. So I'm taking this Moroccan Argan Oil from Via. I got this from Walmart. They also have an olive oil one. I use that one too. Um, I like to use this oil from them because it's really thick and it does a really good job of adding shine to my hair and making sure that my hair stays nice and moisturized. And that's what we doing smoothing and moisturizing the hair. So in case anybody was wondering why I'm doing a plat takedown, plat takedown kind of method, it's because I like to make sure that my hair is not losing any moisture while I'm doing each side and moisturizing the other side. Because I don't know about y'all, but if I did not keep my hair in these plaits while I moisturized each side, my hair would start to get a little poofy and we don't want that because that's like pointless. So I like to do this to help keep the hair together so that it stays moisturized while I'm doing each side.
y'all this wet line extreme gel oh this wet line extreme gel is the bomb okay it is fire i love it so much i discovered this gel when i moved to atlanta it was in the walmarts i moved back to memphis can't find it nowhere except for in Target, aka target it is the best gel I have ever used. I love it because I can use so much of it, y'all. And I'm not kidding. I have literally like taken globs of it just to see how much of it I could use and how much of it my hair could stand. And I'm not kidding, y'all. It does not flake. You can use as much as you need. It will not flake on you. Best gel ever. Go get you some at your local Target or at your local Walmart or your local beauty supply store. Wherever you can find it, go get it. So I added just a teeny tiny bit of Whitline Extreme Gel to that big plait that you just saw me make. I did that because wet line extreme gel doesn't dry fast and it's really good to moisturize the hair also because it has aloe vera in it so I added just a little bit of that to keep my hair just a little defined while I make these connections I usually don't do this step right here but I feel like being saucy today and making my bun just a little bit different so I'm adding these connections and I'm using some wet line extreme gel and a little bit of got to be glued to help me pull that together. Now that our connections are done, let's style the bun. <laughs> um, Y'all, I'm going to split this hair into two sections. I'm um, not going to plait it. I'm just going to like split it, not parting it, just making a split and smoothing that hair a little bit before I make one big ponytail. Because like I said, smoothing the hair is the key to making sure this bun is fire, sleek, no hair is out of place, just on point. So I'm taking my demon just to gather all the hair together. And then once I have all the hair gathered, I like to take this red goody brush that I have. I don't even think they make them like this anymore. But um, it's a boar bristle brush. I take it um, and I use that to smooth the hair down really, really well because the bristles on this brush are really tightly packed together and the brush is firm, which I love. The bristles are not really soft, so it really does a good job of smoothing the hair down to perfection. So to make our bun, I used these hair ties that I got from Amazon. I used two of them. I'll link them down below. And I make a ponytail as comfortably tight as I can get it. And right when I'm at the point to where I can't tie it anymore, just before reaching that point, actually, I like to pull the hair through. And I make like this bun. And I don't pull it all the way through. And I leave out this chunk. And I split the chunk into two pieces. And then I take one of the pieces and some wet line extreme gel and I 
twist it all the way down. Then once I have it twisted all the way down, I like to wrap it around the bun that we made with the hair tie. Essentially like a rope. And I secure the end with a bobby pin. Um, I got these bobby pins from Walmart. They're made especially for thick hair. And I'll link those down below as well. Then I take the other piece and I do the same thing. I smooth it out really well. Take some Whitline Extreme Gel, twist it down really good. Once I'm happy with it and I've reached the end of the twist, I wrap it around again, essentially creating a rope. And then I secure it with the thick bobby pin. Only use one for each rope. Once the ropes are secured, I like to run my fingers across the bun like this to see if maybe any pieces are sticking out. And if I feel that they are, or even if they're not, I like to tuck the hair a little bit more and secure it with another one of those thick bobby pins. Just to make sure everything is completely smooth and uniform. So as you can see, I had some gaps there on the side. I'm fixing that with my boar bristle brush, just making sure everything is smooth and uniform and to add a little bit more reassurance that I've gotten everything, I'm using the fine tooth end of my comb and just going over everything. So now I'm going in with my got to be ultra glue styling gel. And y'all, as you can see, I'm only using a little bit because a little bit of this gel goes a very long way, okay? I like to use this to make sure that I have absolutely zero flyaways before I make it to the last step. This gel is basically the semifinals before the finals, okay? Please do not use this in place of wet line extreme gel. The only time I used this gel before now was when I did my connections. Um, this gel is not easy to move once it dries. You will have to basically wet it once it dries if you need it to move again. And you really don't want to do that. So, yeah, just save this for the end. Please trust the process, okay? And finally, the got to be glued freeze spray. Yes, this stuff right here, y'all. This is Elsa in a can. No cap. Yes, Elsa from Frozen. They need to put her face on this. You know why? Because this stuff will freeze your hair. Ain't going nowhere <laughs> until wash day. Until wash day, okay? Because we ain't on no Gorilla Glue stuff. But um, I like to use my blow dryer to go in and just reinforce the spray. You don't have to do this at all because I've done it without. And the spray still does a good job of freezing the hair with just the air. I don't know what's up with me rhyming. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose.
And there you have it. The perfect sleek rope bun. Absolutely smooth, beautiful, elegant, and classy. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. It's been a minute since I've done a hair video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn your post notifications on. Hit that bell so you know exactly when I upload. Don't be out of the loop, okay? Don't be lame. That's not cool. Be in the loop. Be in the mix, all right? Thank y'all so much for watching. Love you so, so much. And I will see y'all in the next video.